Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to take a look at a 2024 Acura Integra base model. This one's in lunar silver metallic with the ebony interior. You have three levels. You have this base, you have the A-spec, and then you have the A-spec with technology. So three options to choose from. Pretty easy, but this is where you start from. So starting off with the front fascia, you have LED, full LED, high beam, low beam, turn signals, daytime running lights. You don't have any fog lights on the base model, but you do have the chicane daytime running lights up top. So to know the difference from the front end of this guy versus like a TLX, the daytime running lights is opposite. So on the TLX, it goes like this and go up. On Integra, it's up, it's up above. You do get the jewel LEDs, which is beautiful, which I love about Acura. You do get the, the Acura crest with the, the beak where it looks like you're kind of like, I guess, flying towards the symbol. It's actually pretty cool. Glass, uh, gloss black on the grill, flat black on the lower portion down here, and you do have a bumper curtain under here as well. A lot of people will say that this is just a nice Civic, but the Integra actually doesn't share a fender or anything, like the hood, the every, bumpers, everything is completely different from the Civic, even though the chassis is very similar. On the wheels of the base Integra, these are 215, 50, 17. If you want bigger wheels, of course, you have to go up a trim level, but for it being a base, it's not bad. On the Civic Sedan, they're hubcaps. Um, on the hatchback, they're alloys, but at least on this guy, it's alloys as well. And then taking a look at the rear, body colored, shark fin antenna. Lunar silver is a good color. And the rear is one of my favorites too, full LED. So brake lights, turn signals, reverse lights, still get the Chagane style, like the front headlights. And then you do have an LED brake light up top as well. Acro symbol back here. Heritage Integra stamped in to the rear bumper. And actually, that same thing I believe is on the front. I may have missed it. So yeah, you get Integra stamped in the bumper up front as well. That kind of goes back to the older Integras, which is pretty cool. Base will give you a unique style back here. I mean, it's flat black at the bottom, but it is dual exhaust. So like I said, you have smart entry. You can lock it from here or put your hand on it. It'll unlock for you. We get in here. First thing you're gonna see, full leather seating. And this is the ebony interior. So if you like a lot of black, then you're gonna love this interior. Soft touch on the door handle. Soft touch up top, of course. Auto up down for driver, passenger window, hole for the rear. Power locks, power mirrors, power windows, power seating. So the driver, you have forward, back, up, down. You can adjust the thigh portion right there. And then for your back, to go forward and back. If you want lumbar support, you have to go up to a higher model, but the base does give you power seating. On the passenger side, you have a manual back and manual seating and no up, down. On the door, you got some storage, so put a water bottle in there, some storage in there. Sitting here for a second. You do have, um, kind of like the Civic, where you have this aluminum style on the door, which I like. And then you do have some blank buttons here. If you get a higher trim, you do get memory seats. That's something you don't get on the Civic. But definitely nice to be in here. I'm gonna actually turn it on so you guys can hear how the Acura sound. I like the graphics to start up, it's pretty cool. It is push button start. So um, you do have like a, let me take a zoom in and show you guys. It's like a silver finish uh, button. There we go, <laughs> I gotta sneak my way around here. There we go, you got like a silver finish button right there. Looks good, pretty cool. I'll put an accessory mode, ain't gonna start in here. I mean, we're in the showroom. I ain't trying to pass out in here. What's cool on the Integra, all trim levels will have the full digital cluster here. On the Civic, you have to only you only get down to touring, so it's cool that this is this is in all three trims. You do have a leather wrap steering wheel here, which is nice. A little gloss black in the middle. The steering wheel is gonna look very similar to the Civic because it's pretty much the same steering wheel. Just have the Acura logo in the middle though, and then you do have your controls for both screen here. So you have a scroll wheel here, scroll wheel here. This scroll wheel on this side is gonna control. Let me zoom in and show you guys. This left pod, so you, it's just your sources. So you have FM, AM, USB, Bluetooth customized display and that's pretty much it and then for this scroll wheel here we'll control this side so here you can see 
that's cool. You see each tire um, pressure. You can't get down to Civic. Um, you have your oil life, you know, who got the seat belts on, or are you waking up to drive, engine time speed, range, but most people are gonna have this thing on, gauge display, vehicle settings, brightness, no contact, and you can see a safety feature. So you have road departure, blind spot monitoring on and off, collision, meta bra collision mitigation braking, can't even speak. Even okay. though it's a similar screen like the Civic, the Civic doesn't have this like blue light up around the gauge. That thing looks so premium. Very good, I like how that looks. And then you do have your volume here, next track, previous. You have off, auto, um, parking light and on for your headlights, no fog lights, like I said. And on this side is for your Acura Link. I guess it's called Acura Watch is what they call it. So you have your cruise control here, cancel, resume, set, your um, lane keep assist system, adaptive cruise control, um, very Honda, very familiar. And you do have power shifters on the back. You can get that on a Pretty much, you can't get that on the base Civic, of course. So the base Civic and the base Integra, night and day difference. Like, you're looking at two different type of cars. And you get a lot standard in this guy versus a base Civic. Coming along over here, you do have the 7-inch touchscreen display. So it'll have volume. It'll have um, tuning. Or you have a seek button down here. And this is very similar. Actually, it's the same screen that's in the Civic. If you guys seen that, then... You're gonna be very familiar with this guy where you don't really have a menu on the screen. Most of your menus is gonna be on here. So like you wanna change any door settings or anything like that, I think I passed it before. It's gonna be under settings here. Let me go to it real fast so you guys can see. Uh, we have vehicle settings and then you can control or change all your settings all in there. This is, oh, let me zoom up. This guy is just gonna have your shortcuts for your phone, radio. Uh, Bluetooth or USB, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and you have to plug your phone in for Apple CarPlay, Android Auto on the base model. I believe if you go up, I don't know if the A spec has wireless or it's just the tech has wireless. We're gonna have to look at the brochure and see, but you do get standard heated seats on the base model, which is cool. You have a single zone. Of course, if you go up, you get the dual zone, but you have auto, you have AC on and off, air circulation, still pretty cool. Um, the Civic has its unique vent that goes across the whole uh, piece here. It's a little bit different on the Integra, so it looks more more traditional, more more Integra, I'll say, more accurate, I'll say, more Integra. So, but still nice, feels good in the hand, has this ability, still get a little mesh on there though. So, you get the similar styling, it just it doesn't go across the whole dash pretty much. And then you have this kind of, I like this color. I, I don't even know. It's like a like a gray silver piece in the middle, which is pretty cool. But coming along here too, you have one USB A for your Apple CarPlay Android Auto. You have a power outlet there, on and off, on and off. What am I talking about? Power outlet there, and then you do have your transmission selector here. So down here, you have a leather uh, wrap shift knob, park reverse neutral drive. You can put the transmission into a sport mode, which is cool. You do have a dynamic mode, which you don't get on the Civic. So when you toggle this guy over here, let me zoom in so you guys can see. So you have normal and you have comfort, you have and sport. So you see how the gauges turn color too? So it turned red, that is, you guys see in person, it looks so cool. So normal and comfort. So comfort is gonna be more soft, um, not as fast, easier to drive. Um, normal is kinda gonna be in between both. So it's, you get some power, but it's not too much power. And in sport mode, you get the full power. Because the all Integra's makes 200 horsepower and pretty much make the same power as a Civic Si. So you get the same 1.5 four cylinder. Uh, you make 200 horsepower, which is for your entry level, I said luxury brand. I would say it's it's a good, a decent enough power because that powertrain is nice in the Si. You do have the auto stop feature, and that's the button to turn it off. You have electronic parking brake. You have brake hold on and off as well. And you do have this whole portion here is gloss black. I'm not a big fan of gloss black, but it does look nice when it's clean. Cup holder is here, and you have a decent size um, storage in here. And then for your glove box, simple glove box, nothing too crazy. And coming up here, you do have an auto dimming rear view mirror that's standard, which is cool. That's on the base, and moonroof is standard too. So all Integra's get a moonroof that's standard on, on their base. LED lighting all around, which is pretty cool. Sunglass holder. And then you have your vanity mirror with your light. Uh, and it's not LED, but at least you get a light, which is pretty cool. And it's comfortable. These seats are comfortable. They hug you. 
feels good to be in here. All the materials feel good. Let's jump into the back seat. Coming along to the rear doors. See how wide it opens. I'm sorry? Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, they brought them back. But jumping in here, plenty of leg room. I mean, since it's a hatchback, you technically do get a little bit more headroom than the sedan. And you do got some speakers back here, you get tweeters back here too, so which is cool. This portion right here is soft touch, hard on the back, which I'm not surprised. You do got a matte pocket behind the passenger seat, none behind the driver's seat. Let me show you guys the cockpit again, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I was just talking to one of the customers here. She has an Integra, she has a 98, she was telling me, a four-door, and she didn't know they had a new one, so we are just talking about the new ones. She's like, wow, these are nice. And this is nice for a base model. This is really nice. You don't have armrests back here, but you do have the car seat uh, anchors right under the little flap right here, which is pretty cool. But um, no USB ports back here, no air vents back here either, and no heated back seats, but it's comfortable back here. And this is about 32, so for that price range, it's actually pretty nice. And of course, we're going to take a look at the tailgate. So it's not power. Still gotta lift it up, but you have some struts that help assist and open it up. Because their rear bumper is like one piece and it's a lot like taller, you do have to lift up a lot higher than the Civic Integra, but it's pretty deep in here. And you can fold the seats down, you can split them as well. You do have storage on the left side, no storage on the right side. And you do get a flat fixed kit because you don't get a spare tire with the Integra but you do have additional storage in here too, which is pretty cool. And unlike the Civic, the sunshade on this guy is one piece. On the Civic, there's like one shade there and then you have to pull it and go across here. One piece on the, on the Integra, but still plenty of cargo space. Still a good looking car. Can't go wrong. If you made it this far in the video, I appreciate you. So we're on the model lineup for the 2024 Integra. And like I said, it's real simple because there's three of them. And I was trying to look up the competition for this car. And everyone's been seeing the WRX, the Elantra N, the Civic SI, uh, the GTI, the GLI, and the Lexus IS. I even saw a Camry and Stinger, which was interesting. Also, when I was doing a walk around, um, it was in the showroom. And it was so quiet in there. There's customers in there. So, I don't know. I naturally was just quiet, too. And it was just so weird. This is why I don't do walk around in the showrooms. But anyways, um, we're here focusing on the Integra. So, you can see you have the A-Spec. And you have the A-Spec with technology. So, these are the two higher trends above the base. But we're going to focus on the base here. So, if you want to pause this video and kind of read, you know, what the other trends have, you can. Or wait for us to do the, the other videos. You know, it's up to you. So every Integra is going to have the 1.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder and it's the same powertrain in the SI. It does have a 200 horsepower, 192 foot pound torque and it is front wheel drive standard and you do get a CVT. So because it's using the Civic's powertrain, Civic's chassis, um, it makes sense for them to use the CVT because I know the ILX, I believe have a, a was a dual clutch within the ILX, I believe so. Either automatic or I think it was dual clutch in the ILX. And a lot of people was complaining that, oh, it's a CVT, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, the Integra, even the original Integra, if you go back to like, you know, when they first came out, it was always a nicer Civic. So um, they always use the Civic platform and build on top of it. So I I'm not sure why people are confused. I'm sure the dual clutch is probably more sporty transmission, but this powertrain is already mounted to a CVT, so it it don't make sense to make a whole new transmission for this part. That's my opinion. Um, but you have the three modes, the dynamic three modes that we saw. So you have rear ratio electric power assist, rack and pinion, and this is kind of remind me of any base model where. The base model of a vehicle always have all the basics, all the safety features, and then, you know, you get more more premium features on top of that. Tronic parking brakes, 17-inch wheels. Um, it's so funny that they put 215, 50, R17 high-performance all-season tires. I'm sure if you're shopping a base Integra, you don't really care about that, but that's pretty cool. You get the dual-eye LED headlights, which I love. 
the chicane LED daytime running lights, which is beautiful, chicane LED tail lights, which is beautiful, power moon roof, you have the heated side mirrors, captain's fuel filler. I didn't get to open that in the video, but I'm sure you guys know what that looked like. Um, silver painted trim, power seat standard, heated front seat standard. Also, these are leatherette, leatherette trim front seats, so they weren't even real leather. So interesting. 60-40 split rear seats. You get the 10.2 inch digital instrument cluster. So I mentioned in the video that if you get a, a touring Civic, you get the same screen. And which makes sense because the Touring Civic is almost about the same price as this this guy, but this is pretty much Honda took the SI and make it give it a little bit more features in Honda world, so it kind of makes sense like what standard in this guy, and especially for the price range. Um, and also, you know, if you're buying this, you're probably you do want more. You know, you. you you don't want cloth seats. You don't want to have hubcats. You don't want to have no moon roof. You want heated seats. Like you just want more, and that's just standard. You don't need the sporty stuff or all the tech. So um, it's a good trim level. But um, you see, smart entry, walk with auto lock, front door and tailgate, steering wheel controls. I like how I like how in, I like how accurate is just the lineup is just easy to read all on one page. Um, auto dimming rear view mirror. Ambient LED lighting, so we didn't get to see that. So ambient lighting, so that's cool. Cargo privacy cover, and you get an eight-speaker premium audio sound system, so it's accurate as own system. You don't get the ELS, I think, until you get to the, the tech, if I'm mistaken. And yeah, you get the ELS into the tech, which I have it in my RDX. I love it. It's a good sound system. Um, I saw that Acura's partnering up with um, it's another brand I forgot, but yeah. So I don't know if the ELS is gonna gonna go away, maybe. But you do get a 7 inch touchscreen display, Apple CarPlay and Android RS is wired. You get Siri built in, i3, which is cool, USB A, and then all your safety tech. So, what do Acura call it? Um, safety driver assist, collision mitigation, adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist, traffic control. So, you guys are familiar with all of these blind spot, rear car, uh, auto high beams, ace body structure, blah, 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 blah. I think Acura called their safety feature Acura Watch, if I'm not mistaken. Because Swan, that's what it's called. Anyways. Uh, oh, we even got, oh, there's a Type S on here. So, you know what's so funny? I don't know if you guys remember watching my Type S video. I think I've seen this, and I was like, where's the Type S? This thing's right there at the bottom. I missed this. That's crazy. Anyways, let's go build an Integra. So, we're going to build a base. And you have two engines because of the Type S. The Type S make 320, but we're not even going to look at that. And you have two front wheel drive models because one is the 6 speed manual and one is the CVT. We're going to jump the CVT because 6 speed is only on the top of the line. And uh, here's the three trimmed Integra, A spec, and A spec with technology. So we're going to jump into just Integra. And then here's the color combination. So I, I love how they lay this out too. Pretty simple. So Lunar Silver Metallic, which we just looked at, comes standard with the Ebony Majestic Black Pearl. You get Ebony or Greystone. I won't, let's see what the gray stone looks like. Okay. Oh, okay, it's not like uh, you can spin it like Honda. They give you just pictures. Interesting. Gotta see this in person. Look how it folds down. The gray looks nice. Get in front. The gray is nice. Okay. Let's go back to the exterior though. Um, You have. Oh, okay. I'm like, where's this? the interior go? Liquid carbon metallic. I have this color on my RDX. Beautiful color. You have the performance red pearl. If, and platinum white, so you have a you don't it's a base model, so you're not gonna get too many color options, but you don't get the red interior in this guy, so you have to move up to get the nice interior. But we're gonna do the lunar silver and uh, take a kind of look at the base price, so you don't pay more for lunar silver. So it's thirty one five hundred starting MSRP, no special color, and you do get a maintenance plan, which is cool. And destination handling, you're looking at thirty-two six ninety-five. So just above thirty gets you in a base Integra. Don't know if your dealership have a markup or not, or you can get it below MSRP, MSRP, whatever. Every dealership is different, but that's actually pretty nice. Now let's take a look at some of the things that you can actually buy as an accessory. So um, I'm going to jump. Well, let's take a look at this all-season floor mats. Mosey's aesthetics. Oh, you can get the light up um emblem on the base. That's cool. And get the blacked out 
package, different wheels. Hub, okay, I'm about to say hubcaps. <laughs> Illumin oh, no, this is the illuminated front A marker. So what the heck was this? What is this? Oh, I guess it. Ch oh, I guess it changes the grill and everything. Oh, it's a package. Dorsal trim. Okay, okay. So you do get the light up thing in here, but you get a bunch of stuff too with the package. That's why you read black emblem. That's cool. Okay. So there's a lot of different ways you can dress this guy. Look at that carbon fiber mirror caps. What's gonna be crazy is once they don't make this Integra anymore, the generation. This is gonna go up. This gonna be. It's six hundred dollars now. This thing gonna go up in value. I already see it. Oh yeah, you can put a, a bike rack on there. That's what I love about the hatchback Civic too. You can get roof racks from Honda, but the sedan you don't. But okay. All right, let's jump into the interior. See what you can add. So I like how it's all the way at the bottom. Oh, I see. Okay, I see. I'm not used to their how they sell it, so I'm learning. Um, okay, so you get premium floor mats, door sill, steering wheel. Oh, you can add an Alcantara steering wheel. That's cool. You can add on the base model if you wanted to. Heated steering wheel. Oh, yeah, because I don't think that's standard. Heated steering wheel. Okay, pet rear cabin liner. I've never seen that before. Oh, wow. Entire rear seats, door panels, some dirt moisture. Oh, I'm taking the dang ear pods out. No, I got them in. I might be using them on this computer. Um... Okay, seat back protectors. So just in case you guys are curious, why the phone charger? Like, would you um? Oh, you can add a remote engine start on the base model on the fob. That's actually pretty cool. So you don't have to rely on the. That's cool. You don't have to rely on the um on the app if you want to use the app. That's that's good that they still add that because most manufacturers nowadays are um adding the the whole keyless remote thing and you have to go through the app to do the remote start. So interesting okay so that's pretty much the walk around on the integra uh definitely stay tuned because we're diving into acura and i'm going to do all the trim levels you know integras rdx tlx mdx all that good stuff 24s are rolling in so i'm gonna start jumping on 24s um but definitely stay tuned for the next few videos on integra because i'm gonna do an a spec um i'm gonna do an a spec with tech I may do an A spec with tech manual. I gotta see. It might turn into a short. I don't know. Because I did an A spec with tech manual on my other channel before I made this channel a car walk around channel. But make sure you check that out. It was a 23. But we're gonna jump to 24s. If you have any questions, if I miss anything, I'm sure I missed a lot. You know, Acura is new to me. Not really new to me, but I don't work at Acura. I work at Honda. So I'm more familiar with Honda than Acura. But I'm um, diving into Acura though. So. If I miss anything, drop a comment below. Um, did you order one? Do you have one? You know, did you pass on one? Or just let's talk about it. Thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next walk around. Mm -hmm.